the climate change will affect the, 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 the rain distribution in the whole, whole, uh, whole country. Because of the increase of um, sea level, it will actually cause more sea water uh, flow into the uh, soil that is not meant to have like salt water on it. So it all affects our crops productions as well. Those who staying um, at the seaside, so they might lose their livelihood. Like some in my area, there are some of them. They have those um, uh, animal farms actually near the seaside. So it might actually uh, in fact uh, affect them. Climate change is like everything affects everything in a very indirect way, indirect way. Here in meetings like this in COP, uh, the youth voice is not heard. We are treated like kids. We're the first Malaysian youth delegation that represents Malaysia to come to COP. And secondly, we have created the first Malaysian youth statement on climate change. We are basically the leaders of tomorrow. And whatever happens in the future is our decision to make. I wish I can hold our government accountability like what they discuss in the closed meeting or what they discuss in Malaysia. Maybe it's different. Maybe it's a different story when uh, they went to well, sorry, when they're in the Paris in the Paris. There isn't enough representation. People are taking advantage of the fact that hey, the global South youth is not here. Let's just do whatever we want. Negotiators. Uh, doing whatever they want, however they want, and there's no youth here to actually voice out or lobby and say like, hey, what the hell are you doing? Like, they're from the Global South. Don't ignore us, don't just push us aside. Because all the colonized countries, they develop from us. So they use our resources, all our resources and all our things to develop them, and then now they want us to share their pain. So I don't think this is a good thing. It shouldn't be global north, global south, it should just be the globe. It should just be people of Earth. It's very motivating when I see Malaysia um, taking a very active role in all the negotiations. And so I think I would, I would use this as a highlight when I go back to share with my peeps and make, let them know that Malaysians are doing a really great job out there. The knowledge that I bring back home can um, be very beneficial to the next batch of the. Yeah, this is. I think this is what I really want to achieve, to to do education, to share my knowledge. I just think that we are not supposed to spoil the earth. We are not supposed to, yeah, do all this thing and make some somewhere is so beautiful and somewhere we born to be. Um, the whole biodiversity to be disrupted. And I, I realised that other people from um, Asian area, they are facing the same problem. Because I've been to India and some other Asian region and I see it as a common problem. So I think this is how we make our voice much stronger because we're facing the same thing. This, if I can convince this person to actually make a change or make a difference or I can try and make at least one person think differently, Maybe that can move on, that can be a movement.